Can someone please call the police because this game keeps stealing my tears? I blame you, Monokuma. There's been another rip, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, scratch that. There's been a double rip. Two people have been ripped. Ibuki and Hiyoko. I'm not too fussed about Hiyoko because she was kind of a little bit of a bad egg, but nobody deserves a ripping. How about Ibuki? Mmm. She was the life and soul of the party. She was a punk rock princess with fantastic hair and a good nomin nomin. In the morning, she she ain't never gonna say a good nomin nomin to me because she's dead. A double rip. And it's all because of that damn Monokuma and his disease. Monokuma. Here's a bit of advice. If you're gonna go around spreading diseases, keep your dirty little bare fingers to yourself, hmm? Hey, nobody want none of that! But Monokuma isn't the only person we should blame here. Somebody else, one of these dirty, dirty survivors, has ripped these two. They have betrayed us. And you bitch, your asses. I'm gonna find out who it is. Officer Buddy Lover is on this case, and he will solve it. Hey, 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 everyone. Razbowski here, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. And oh, baby, it's trial time to find out who moided Hiyoko and Ibuki. And when I find out, when I find out which one of them done it, I will be furious. And then they'll be ripped themselves, so justice will be served. An eye for an eye, as they say. Guys, if you're hyped for this video, then please hit that like button. I really, really is appreciate it. Let's shoot for 1,000 beautiful likes. Each and every single episode at the moment is hitting 1k likes, and no you beautiful raspberries out there can hit it, so let's hit it again. And we'll dive into trial three? I don't know. I can't remember. People have been ripped. Let's solve it. Woo! Mwah. I think that was a good a masterpiece of an intro. Unfortunately, the energy was a little too much, so people are going to accuse me of A, taking drugs, B, having too much coffee, or C, being a jack. Sceptical clone. Do I sound Irish? My baby's all grown up. Who's Sammy? My pet. It's time to flee the nest, baby. Oh. Oh, she popped an egg out of her bum. Okay, and now she's leaving. Bye bye. Farewell, Usami. You've been a great boy. It wants to give you something. Usami wants to give me something. Please, please be respective. Menacing focus. Monocoins 200 and century potpourri. Girl, that was so worth. Bye bye. Look at those tears. I'll see you later, girl. You, you, you were really good to me. Now, I've got a new egg to hatch, which is gonna be fantastic. I don't know when that'll be, but we've got loads of abilities now as well. So I'm gonna set all of our abilities and then we'll get straight to the trial. It's gonna be good. Here we go. The next trial. Oh man, I think this is the third trial actually that we're doing. Monokuma Rock. I, I, I've got a really bad feeling about this one. I think one of my favorites is gonna go because I've formed such a bond with a couple of them now. Mikan and Chiaki. And Mikan was tending to them all. It doesn't look good for her. And we've got Chiaki who did seem suspicious at the end of the last episode. But I mean, this game throws curveballs right, left and center. So I'm not gonna be too down about it just now. You know what I'm saying? Everyone who heard the end Announcement had gathered in front of Monokuma Rog. And soon enough, obviously he's gonna hear. Is everyone here? Do you guys wanna go to the trial? Hey, jerk! Hold it right there! Monami's such a dumb child. What? Don't get in my way! You're just a dumb little sister who's short of a few brain cells. My brain works just fine. Monokuma, what did you do with Nekumaru? I see. So, you've come to avenge him. What? Av avenge? That sounds like he died. <laughs> sounds like, you say? Oops. Anyway. Anyway, since Nekumaru is unfortunately unavailable today, let's just say he's absent. Uh, bye bye And now then, I gotta go first. What do you I mean? You. Oh, ah, hold on. I won't let you escape. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Did you hear what he said? Huh? Don't worry about it. There's no way Nekumaru is dead. He's just trying to piss us off. Damn it! Like, of course he's not dead. There's no way. Not in a million years. Well... More importantly, it's best if we worry about ourselves for now. <laughs> if something happens here, every one of us except Nekumaru will die. <laughs> why, why, why are you so excited about that? How about it? Who knows? Maybe I'm just looking forward to seeing poetic justice prevail. What do you yearn for? What are you saying, fiend? <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. See? Then, let's go. I'm gonna do it! Alright, let's hurry up and get this over with! Yeah, you're right. What the hell is going on? What's happened to Nekumaru, damn it? Jesus! What is going on? Why is Nekumaru- Please tell me Nekumaru's not dead. Please tell me he's not dead. I can't handle any more ripping. There can't be a triple rip, you know what I'm saying? Oh boy. We stepped onto the escalator and ascended towards the gaping maw of the Monokuma Rock. And that's when I suddenly noticed it. 
I noticed our lined up silhouettes keep getting smaller and smaller. But I can't turn back now. If I turn back, I won't be able to press forward. No, you won't, buddy. Because we gotta do this trial, and when everyone was inside Monokuma Rock, it shut his damn mouth and we descended into his belly, and he probably poops this out his excrement later on. The elevator began its deep descent as usual. But nobody said a word. As we stood there trying to figure out what to say to each other, the elevator descended deeper and deeper. Not really much you can say in this situation, is there, Hachime? And when it descended as far as it could go, it finally stopped. The elevator doors slowly opened, almost tantalizingly so. Light poured through from the other side, eroding the boundaries of the darkness. And I walked into that place. That was a beautiful, beautiful little soliloquy there, or in a monologue. My, my! It feels pretty toothless with all these empty seats! Well, two people got killed at the same time, and Nekumaru's not here either. Is Nekumaru really not participating? If he's alive, you should invite him! No, no! Why bother? What? What? Well, now. Now then, let's begin! It's the beginning of the long-awaited class trial! Please enjoy it to your heart's content! <laughs> oh man, and so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. Ibuki Miyoda, the ultimate musician. She was really loud, but she was the mood maker of our group. When I was with her, all my pain and suffering just seemed to melt away. Hyoko Sayonji, the ultimate traditional dancer. Just from looking at her adorable face, you'd never know she was actually selfish and foul-mouthed. But she was trying to change herself, and she was desperately trying to come to terms with Mahiru's death. The person who killed those two is among us. Who will it be? Which son of a gun? I definitely can't believe it! Which one are you? But whether I believe it or not is irrelevant. Because uh, someone did murder them. Unless I figure out the truth, I won't be able to escape from this hell. That's why I must find out no matter the cost. For our sake. For our friend's sake. For Ibuki and Hyoko's sake. And so the curtain to the third class trial was about to open. This life-threatening trial billowing with hope and despair has begun. Here we go! Now then, let's begin with a simple explanation of the class trial! Pretty sure we get it at this point, Monokuma. During the class trial, you will present your arguments for who the killer is and vote for who done it! If you vote correctly, then only the blackened will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong person, I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and that person will earn the right to leave this island! Oh well, who cares about this boring explanation? Let's get on with it already! Sounds good to me, Monokuma, and just so you know, I won't fall for your traps. I know Nekumaru's still alive, I know my boy's still alive. You just tried to disable all of our positive energy, your junk. Just keep your dirty little virus to yourself, huh? I don't mind starting the trial, but I don't really have a grasp of how the case played out. Huh? You know, because I was asleep the whole time. What? <laughs> Even if you do grasp it, you're just gonna confuse the heck out of us, aren't you? Yeah. But Nagito's not alone. I don't really get it either. You're fine. Your head's empty anyway. Wow, Soda! Empty head? Huh. What's wrong with that? Oh, I understand what they mean. I understand what they mean, because they have the, the, the despair disease. Listen up! The emptier your head, the more dreams you can stuff inside it, you know? I get you. Um, yeah. Anyway... We shouldn't proceed with the trial if those two can't participate in the arguments. Since he's the first witness, why don't we ask Hajime to explain the incident and the sequence of events? Sounds good to me. Let's start with when we split into the hospital team and motel team because of the despair disease. The hospital team consisted of Nagito, Ibuki, and Akane, who were infected, and Mikan, Fuyuhiko, and me. The other five on the motel team were myself, Gundam, Kazuichi, Chiaki, and Hyoko. Spending the night at the hospital was prohibited, so Hajime and I had to sleep at our cottages. I woke up at my cottage on the day the incident happened. Mikan came by to wake me up and told me that Nagito had recovered from his symptoms. We immediately headed over to the hospital, and after we confirmed his recovery, I made Mikan rest in the on-call room, since she hadn't slept all night, while I waited in the hospital lobby. And then, 
I saw the incoming signal light on the surveillance camera blinking before our scheduled time. When I pressed the button to turn on the monitor, what appeared on screen was... Something horrible, dog. A video of someone wearing a hospital gown and a hemp bag on their head, climbing a stepladder. Amazing! That's such a hard-pounding story! And then what did you do, Hajime? Oh, I recorded it on VHS so we can watch it later. You know what I'm saying? They died! I tried to stop them, of course. I rushed out of the hospital and ran to where the video was being recorded. The music venue. But it was too late. Sure, boy. By the time I arrived, the person wearing the hemp bag on their head was already hanging from the ceiling. I thought I should tell the others right away, so I headed to the motel. Why the motel? Because it was close to the music venue, and unlike the hospital, there were more able-bodied people there. At least, that's what I thought. But the only person who came with me was Chiaki. But I remember feeling a little relieved because not long after, we met up with Mikan and Fuyuhiko. We were also looking for Ibuki since she disappeared from our sight. After I rested for a bit, I started counting everyone at the hospital. And then, I noticed Ibuki was gone. So, I, I sprinted out of the hospital. Coincidentally, I ran into Fuyuhiko. So I fled with him in various ways to see if he could help me out. What does that even mean? Various ways? Exactly, buddy. I knew you'd pick up Don't on it. Don't say it like that and confuse people. After I heard from those two that Ibuki Kinky. disappeared, I had a feeling she was the person wearing the hemp bag. So I immediately led them to the music venue. But the door wouldn't open. Since we had no other option, the four of us broke down the door. And when that happened, we didn't just find Ibuki's body. We also found Hiyoko's, and not just that. Her body was taped to a pillar. That's when we heard the body discovery announcement. Not once, but twice in a row. And so, we decided to lower the hanged body, didn't we? When we removed the hemp bag, just as we feared, it was Ibuki. So that's how the case played out. Thank you. I understood it very easily. Thanks, buddy. Well, it's clear what the problem with this case is. When Hajime left the music venue, who- Wait, how do I know anything Hajime just said is true? What? Huh? Oh, he's talking about whether or not we actually viewed um, the, the, the scene on the camera. Sorry, I'm only being impartial right now. And the story I just heard is clearly suspicious. Hajime. If you're the only one who saw the hanging video, and the first one to discover Ibuki's body, then you could be lying as much as you want right now. Lie? Why would I lie? Obviously. So you could make us ignore what might be an inconvenient truth for you. Do you doubt me? If you're not lying, I would like you to prove it. Oh, prove it, bitch. Come oh. on, try to prove it to me. Prove you're not the killer. Stop it! Arrgh. It's just as Kazuichi said, Nagito's the kind of guy who will just confuse us and make matters worse. Damn it! I shouldn't have explained it to Nagito. I'm in trouble now thanks to that. Explained what to Nagito? Oh, I'm confused. Okay, okay, we'll have to see what's going on. Motel room, because it's scrap thin paper. Okay, okay. Um, 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 I don't know. Movie invi invitation ticket? I don't know. Maybe. We'll Hajime's to testimony see. is clearly suspicious. If Hajime's testimony is a lie. Herself. What that would also be a lie. Okay. I don't think I can deny that possibility. After all, Hajime is the only witness. Why would Hajime Am I? lie? Well, obviously, because he's the killer. Did Hajime kill both of them? No! The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. Oh yes, there, there are the is Hajime's fault. That is it, that is it. No, 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 I haven't seen the movie yet. He he gave me this hint before as well, didn't he? He said, make sure you keep your ticket. Make sure you keep your ticket. You might need that later on. So he's, he's doing, he's trying to trick us there. That's the one we need. I'm not the killer. There should be a contradiction somewhere. I need to find that and break through. The fact that the bodies were imitating the movie. There we go. Burst through your stuff. No, that's wrong. Movie ticket. Be a hatch. Don't you try and trick me again, boy. You know that I'm innocent. I'm killer. I mean, there's no way I'd be able to imitate that movie. Of course you're not. I already knew that. Why, Nagato? Why? I'm gonna shave your head. Huh? Before the incident, Hajime had never watched that movie. His invitation ticket is proof of that. Why? 
Each person only received one ticket, and they're marked with a stamp that shows the date and time. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Yes, no mistakes there. Which means there's no way Hajime, who never saw the movie, could commit murders that imitated it. Or did anyone tell him what happens in the movie? Of course no one did, right? Hold on a sec. You're the one who brought this up in the first place. Exactly, Kazuchi. what are you doing? Well, since we're opening with your witness testimony, I thought we should solidify the foundation. It also provides a good warm-up. What warm-up? This isn't a game, you know. <laughs> Don't get mad. I just think warming up is really important. Especially since this isn't a game. What a waste of time. Well, I knew it would turn out like this anyway. Now then, since we know Hajime's testimony is reliable, let us move on to the arguments. So this means Ibuki definitely climbed the stepladder all by herself. Yeah, I'm positive. Then that seals it. Ibuki committed suicide. No, not necessarily. If Ibuki committed suicide, then who killed Hiyoko? Hmm, a murder coincidentally occurring in the same place as a suicide. Ain't possible, huh? Like I said before, it's pretty clear what the problem with this case is. The killer murdered Hiyoko while Hajime was gone. Mm. So all we gotta do is establish who could have possibly done that. Then let's ask Hajime. How long would you say you were away from the music venue? Ten minutes? I couldn't have been gone for more than ten minutes. So they killed Hiyoko and taped her up within ten minutes? There's no way that's possible. Exactly. That's why the killer stalled for time by making the music venue a closed room. Hmm? What do you mean a closed room? The killer blocked the venue door from the inside to try and keep us from entering right away. However, that door is the only entrance to the music venue, right? If they blocked the door from the inside, the killer would not have been able to leave either. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Which means when we broke down the venue door, the killer was still inside. <laughs> they were? If that's the case, the only suspicious people are those who don't have an alibi for that time. And that's you two! Sonia and Kazuichi! Oh boy. Me too? Yeah. What the hell? Why's it gonna be us? The others all have alibis. Chiaki, Mikan, Hajime, and I all broke down the venue door together. Gundam met up with Hajime at the motel right before that. And if Akane and Nagito were laid up in the hospital, the only person that leaves is one of you. There's another person who doesn't have an alibi. You know, Nekomaru. Me too! Hey, why are you talking like... Huh? You're kidding, right? You're not up to something weird, are you? Oh, of course he's up to something weird. Uh, please stop making bad jokes. Anyway, if the killer was hiding inside the venue, we should obviously doubt the people who don't have alibis. That's if we're assuming that the time of death is within that time frame. It, it, it could be completely different, like I was suggesting in the other, earlier videos. I think that um, Hiyoko could have been killed last night, for instance. What a wicked way of backing us into a wall. Is this his professional skill? The killer is inside the music venue. Fuyuhiko obviously thinks so, but is that really it? No, I don't think it is. The time of day, um, we got the AC timer, I think. AC timers, where are they? Uh, please say this the AC timer. Surveillance. Oh, tra semi-transparent glob? Maybe? I don't know what that means, though. Uh, let's get the semi-transparent glob, because that's the only the thing I don't still know. inside the music venue. By locking the door from the inside, they tried to keep us from getting in. It seems they were trying to stall for time. How did they lock the door? That door should not have had a lock. Ah, I've got it. The lock was on the floor and I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Are you talking about the broken drumstick? Yes, technically. You can use that as a bolt to lock the door. Mm-hmm. By doing that, the killer who was hiding inside waited till we gathered together and suddenly appeared. No, 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 no. So they look like they had just rushed over. I have seen this in serial crime dramas. Mmm. Now, this is interesting. That person's remark contradicts the truth. I should be able to prove that with my evidence. Okay, okay. The I think the tra still inside the music venue. The, the semi-transparent glob is the, is the key. The inside. 
I think they I think they used the tra semi transparent glob because they they broke the, the stick and left it on the floor. Time. That's what I think. But I'm not 100 percent The door. By locking the door from there. The that one, there we go, no, burst through wrong. it. There we go, I think this is right. I think what they've done is broken the drumstick to make it look like that's what happened. But really it was the glob that stuck the There's doors also together. There's possibility that the door was locked from the outside. From the outside? How? There was a semi-transparent glob stuck to the venue door. Maybe that's what they used. Semi-transparent glob? Like rubber maybe? It wasn't rubber at all. That tr semi-transparent glob was probably rubber gum gummy glue. Glue? Probably probably glue, right? Let's see. That semi-transparent glob must have been glue. Glue? Yeah. Yeah, I think so too. It had a firm gel-like chewiness. And I could smell workshop chemicals the moment I put it in my mouth. You're a real kinky girl. Based on all that. I'm certain it was glue. I didn't know glue was edible. I believe it is not something one typically eats. Yeah, pr please don't go around to just stealing all the glue. That's solvent abuse and that can kill. That glue was only applied to the areas where both doors touched. By pouring it in the gaps of the closed door, they must have sealed the venue door from the outside. Perfect, and perfect. And that, a glob of glue was left where the door was stuck. Yep, it fits perfectly. But if you just stick them together with glue, You'd be able to break down the door easily, you know? That doesn't really matter. The killer only did that to make us think the door was locked from the inside. What'd you say? First of all, didn't that drumstick we found seem really obvious? Almost unnaturally so? Yep, yep, yep! It was so obvious that it makes more sense to think the killer placed it as a diversion. Are you saying the drumstick was a trap the killer set on purpose? Clever, I... clever play. I totally fell for that fucking trap. Yeah, he did, buddy. But no, no, you're you're on the the right side this time. Apologize to Miss Sonia and me. However, you're not allowed to slice open your stomach this time. <laughs> In a quarrel, both sides are to blame. That's why it's better to just have no sides at all. Really? So, during the ten minutes Hajime left the venue, the killer murdered Hiyoko and created a closed space? And they also taped her up after killing her, right? Even quick work has limits. Oh, What unimaginable speed for a slow poke like me. If they couldn't have done it while Hajime was away from the venue, they must have done it earlier than that. Exactly. Earlier? But when Hajime got to the venue, only Ibuki's body was there, right? Yeah, but they could have easily stored it in the room with the mirror. Because remember, there was the room with the mirror, and Hiyoko was sent over there by Miss Sonia, murdered uh, Hiyoko in that room, and then used Ibuki's body as a distraction because Hajime would run to go and get somebody else, and in that time, they were able to tie them up. That's what sounds like's happened. And when you went back with everyone else, Hiyoko's body was there too, right? But it's possible that the body was just revealed at that time, when Hiyoko was actually killed earlier. There you go. Just revealed? Of course, the body wasn't revealed on its own. The killer did that too. Here, I have proof. Oh, hmm, that scrap of paper. Is that what we found in the baton lighting at the music venue? That's right, but just what is this scrap anyway? That scrap was stuck on the baton lighting in the music venue. Now, I should be able to figure out what it is. I've just got to think, baby. Just got to think. Hangman's Gambit, baby. Let's solve this case. Is it wallpaper? I think it might be wallpaper. Wallpaper! Hell yeah. I kept making sh silly mistakes during that. Just silly, silly mistakes. That was just ridiculous. That scrap. Isn't it part of the wallpaper in the storage room? Hell yeah. In the music venue storage room, there should have been black wallpaper that's the same color as that scrap. There was also a tear along the edge of the wallpaper, wasn't there? If so, you're right. If you overlay the scrap that was caught on the lighting with the tear in the wallpaper... See? It fits perfectly! I see. So the scrap that was caught on the baton lighting was originally part of the wallpaper. And what's wrong with that? Does it have something to do with Hiyoko's body disappearing? A mere nobody like me isn't important enough to answer that. But if you guys were exceptional enough to identify that scrap of paper, you can figure this out easily. 
A scrap of paper stuck to the bat and lightning was part of that wallpaper I found in the storage room. Is it connected to the sudden disappearance of Hyoko's body? If I trace it back from there, the answer should become clear. Alright, let's give this a try. Which one is it? Is it? Hopefully it's not the snowboard in one logic drive. I think it is the snowboard in one. Damn! Are they saying that they were... They were wrapped up? Were they wrapped up? Was she hidden in the wallpaper? Is that what you're trying to say, Hajime? Yo, baby! Here we go! Why did Hyoko's body suddenly appear in the crime scene? It was hidden, it was hidden, it was hidden, it was hidden! Come on! I know it's hidden! There we go, perfect! There we go, was, was the wallpaper surrounding it? That's what it suggests. Was she, her body wrapped in the wallpaper or around the pillar uh, in the wallpaper? That would be really interesting if it was. Jiminy Christmas. What did the killer use to hide her body? The wallpaper! Hello, darkness, my that was my fault. I'm still going super fast. Still going super fast. I know what I want to say. I'm the envy of all my friends for my cool snowboard in mind. Question three. Here we go. Slow down. How did the killer hide her body with the wallpaper? They formed a wall. They covered the pillar. Oh, I can't remember. The covering the pillar with the t they formed a wall. I think I think they formed a wall with the paper. I think it would be too delicate to try and wrap her in it. Yes. Oh no, they covered the pillar. I will. I, 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 I meant the other thing, but I went the wrong way. So technically I got it right, right? They covered the pillar, so they wrapped it around her. And that's why it was attached to the baton lighting at the top. Is that what they're suggesting? See, I thought that at first, but why wouldn't we have noticed it's all it? It's coming together. Why wouldn't we have noticed it? That's that's my thing. So it's easy to quickly strip off some it. wallpaper. Yoko's body was hidden before we found it. But it would have taken quite a long time to tape up a hidden body. No, the body was already taped up and the killer hid it along with the pillar using the wallpaper. What? They hid the pillar? Yeah. By wrapping the wallpaper around the pillar, the killer was able to create a slightly larger pillar. So when uh, I first discovered Yuki's body, so Yoko's body was already there. So it was, it was attached to the baton lighting up the top, and, and they could easily just make it go up. The baton lighting goes up, everything all goes up at once. It's perfect. They attach uh, Ibuki's body to the rope, and the, the 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 wallpaper to the baton lighting, and then they just raise it up. It's simple. It's perfect. And then they just rip it down afterwards. And that's why there was a rip up the top because they didn't have time to uh, finish it off or collect all the However, evidence. Because it was concealed within a slightly larger pillar, I didn't realize that at the time. That's insane. That is insane. Well, that's understandable. I mean, it makes sense that you'd notice Ibuki's body right away. This so killer's they a genius. Use the baton lighting on the ceiling to hang the wallpaper. The baton lighting forms a perfect circle around the pillar, so using it to hang the wallpaper totally fits. That's the reason why I didn't think, because you'd obviously have a human-shaped bump around the wall, the, the, the pillar, but obviously they're just hanging it loosely down. It's amazing. Then, the reason the wallpaper was covered in so many stickers was to make it look like that pillar. That's how they hid Hyoko's body, and then peeled off the wallpaper as soon as I left the music venue. But the killer made a mistake. They accidentally ripped off a piece of the wallpaper. And because of that, a scrap was left on the baton lighting. The killer must have been in a hurry. Their plan took too long. Hajime could have walked in on them. But going to the trouble of hiding the body and the pillar is very bold and risky. But the crime itself would be much easier to pull off since they don't have much to do while Hajime's gone. They just have to peel off that wallpaper and stash it in the storage room. It's not that big of a deal. Then when was Hyoko actually killed? Good point. And on that note, it's about time we shed some light on those imitation murders. Um, you mentioned imitation murder more than once. But what is that? Are you kidding me? You haven't seen my masterpiece? The Wizard of Monami 2.5 D- Hey! Don't put my likeness in your movies without my permission! You're pretty noisy for someone who eats mothballs! I don't <laughs> eat mothballs! I just enjoy looking at them! I knew it! There are so many similarities, it must have been intentional! Ibuki's death by hanging matches the Scarecrow's death from the movie, not just that. But Hyoko getting taped up after her death 
matches the lion's death. It's as if both crimes were replicas of scenes from the movie, although the mutilated Tin Man was omitted. Mm, unless, oh, no, please, please don't, please don't have an unless. But why did the killer go to all this trouble in the first place? Based on what we know, the reason the killer chose these imitations isn't that difficult to figure out. No, the reason the killer imitated the two victims in that movie, I should be able to explain it that now because they were like the movies to hide the weapons to let their accomplices escape to mix up the killing order. Yes, to mix I up see. the killing order. To make us automatically think the that Yoko the imitated no. two of the murders from the movie first. Well, so we'd mix up the killing order. Then Kyoko was actually killed before Ibuki? I think so. A valid line of reasoning. Yeah, it's valid. The condition of Ibuki's body suggests that as well. What do you mean? <laughs> if you're going to cry and beg like that, then I guess I'll hear about the condition of Ibuki's body. I'm not even crying. I'll let you sob as much as you want later. Just hurry up and tell me before I change my mind. Oh, Gundam. What a jerk! Oh, I see. You want me to explain it to you, right? Because you don't understand what I'm saying, right? Mm, that's ass. An even bigger jerk? Impossible! <laughs> Look, Ibuki died because she hanged herself, right? That means when she was still alive, her feet were touching the floor. What's wrong with that? But, it seems Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was killed. That would mean Hiyoko was killed before Ibuki. <laughs> How light. Your words are so light, as light as the sylph's feather. <laughs> your opponent is out of your league. It is too absurd to try to perplex me so inadequately. What? Man, he's being annoying again. First and foremost, you claim Ibuki's feet were touching the floor when Hiyoko was killed. Yes, they must have been, because we saw her on tape walking up the step ladder. How can a low-class creature with no psychic abilities like you know something like that? Because she was doing something that's only possible if her feet were on the floor. Walking. It seems you suffer from a pathetic delusion. <laughs> You're one to talk. Anyway, if this continues, we're just going to talk in circles. I think it's best if we clarify Ibuki's status when Hiyoko was killed. Yeah, she was walking. I saw her on tape. Walking. If we were to take that tape as, uh, as real. Okay, um, blood on the souls. Blood. Oh, blood on the souls. Exactly. That's the one. When Hiyoko died. Ibuki's or the stepladder. Or the stepladder, maybe? I am telling you to present your evidence. Did you see her walking? Yes, yes I did. If her feet were on the floor, was there any sign she stepped on something? Yes, blood. I blood on her souls. That. I can send, I can send Sonia. I can send to your argument. Uh, maybe we can have dinner afterwards, but Just this first. Said, Ibuki stepped on something. That something was blood. There were faint blood stains on the soles of her slippers. That is not Ibuki's blood, right? She suffered no external injuries. Then it's Hiyoko's blood! Hiyoko's only wound was a fatal slice on her neck. And she died almost instantly, right? If Ibuki stepped on her blood... It means Ibuki was still standing when Hiyoko was mortally wounded. Which means Ibuki was still alive at the exact moment Hiyoko was killed. Don't underestimate the power of the evil eye! Oh, Gundam style! Really, buddy? Are we gonna do this? <laughs> Is that it? A shepherd dressed in his Sunday's finest still reeks of lamb, Hajime Hinata. Does that mean you have a rebuttal? Does that mean you have a rebuttal? <laughs> That's a good line. But, are you sure you're sure? If I show you how serious I am, this world might be destroyed, you know. Bring it! You're so frightened, you can't even make a sound. It seems you've realized our difference in status. However, the time for conviction starts now. You better entertain me to the fullest. Oh, baby, I'm gonna hit you with my sword, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Let's do this. Rebuttal showdown. Don't mess with me, buddy. Please, rope use for hanging motel room key. Step ladder. I think, oh, the candle maybe? Step ladder smudge on the floor? I don't know. We're just gonna have to pick step ladder the than now. Feet ha, impossible. Try to remember the crime scene. Yes. There was no blood on the who can't step on board that was never there. Oh, it was it was <laughs> mopped up. Did you see a nice nightmare? 
It was mopped up. It was mopped up. We already know this. Despite his exaggerated protest, I feel like I've already seen an opening to counter. Is this a trap? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where's the cleanup blood? Smudge on the floor. Impossible. Try to remember the crime scene. There was no blood there. on the floor. Bow! Cut you cut down. Through those words. I cut through those words, baby. This was too easy. What's going on? The reason there was no blood on the floor is because the killer wiped it away afterward. Don't say such foolish things. You don't have proof of that at all. Uh, Gundam style. Watch this, baby. Yes, I do. If you look closely, there's a streak on the floor where blood was wiped away. When the killer tried to hide Yoko's body, they probably cleaned the blood at the same time, but Ibuki must have already stepped in it, and the killer probably didn't even realize it. The reason they wiped off the blood on the floor was so we'd mix up the order of the murders, right? Got it, buddy. Even if they're able to hide Hyoko's body, it'd be bad if her blood was left out in the open. Plus, Ibuki's body was left out in the open, and it wasn't bleeding from any open wounds at all. Hyoko's body was probably wrapped in duct tape to stop her bleeding. And who would have knowledge on how to, um, stop bleeding? Hmm. Actually, the bleeding will stop once the heart stops beating, so I don't think they had to go that far. Aside from Mikon, none of us were aware of that fact, <laughs> so the killer probably did not know it either. Maybe the heater was running inside the music venue so it would screw with Mikon's autopsy? That's right! I didn't know the time of death because of the heater! If the time of death wasn't mentioned in the Monokuma file just to keep concrete evidence from us... Yep. Since we have all this evidence, there's no one else who wants to object, right? Then it's decided. Yoko was killed before Ibuki. It appears that it is wiser to retreat for now. Fine then. But regardless of good or evil, there's no deceit in upholding one's convictions. Can't you just shut up and back off? Now then, let us resume our debate. Yes, please. Uh, wait a sec. There's something I want to run by Monokuma first. Uh-huh. Again? Didn't something like this happen last time, too? Yeah, and it proved pretty damn vital to the case, so Akane, for once, I'm gonna let Nagato speak, you know what I'm saying? Hey, if the victim actually committed suicide, what are we supposed to do? Huh? Suicide? The same as always! You have to vote for who the killer is! So you would vote for Ibuki, just like in the first game. Think about it! A suicide means you've killed the most important existence of all! Yourself! Unfortunately, that means there's no blacken to punish, but I guess in a pinch, I can always punish Monami. Why me? Um, Nagito, what do you mean, if the victim actually committed suicide? Well, I mean, I understand Hyoko's death, but I'm wondering if Ibuki was really murdered. For example, it's possible Ibuki killed Hyoko and then committed suicide due to a guilty conscience, right? That's totally impossible! Then she never would have killed her to begin with! She was afflicted by the despair disease, remember? That means anything can happen. But if Ibuki's the killer, she wouldn't have been able to falsify the sequence of the murders, right? That's true! After Hajime saw the hanged body, the sudden appearance of Hyoko's body soon after means the killer had to be alive at that time. Then she was alive! Yeah, um, from from what I gather about everything, because of her disease, she was very gullible and she was very prone to suggestion. So it's quite conceivable that the killer has told her to go and rip herself. You, you understand? So I think that's what's happened. So she's technically committed suicide, but on the grand scheme of things, that's, that's a murder. <laughs> when Hajime first discovered Ibuki, she was just pretending to be dead. Wait, what? If she waited until Hajime left, that's when she could have made her move and mess with the crime scene. She, she hanged herself, remember? There's no fucking way she could have faked that. Yeah, she could have. If she was going to fake her death, I think she wouldn't have chosen hanging. Her body would have been defenseless in that state. If anyone touched her, that alone would have ruined her plan. Hmm, I see. So that means there's no doubt that someone killed those two. I'm glad. Now I'm free to search for the killer. What? what the heck? Ah, there's still one more issue on my mind. If Ibuki didn't commit suicide, then just what was that video Hajime saw? I still think that was a grand staging by the killer. Huh? 
Because the hair is different. Video you saw, Ibuki was by herself when she climbed the stepladder, right? Then does that mean someone forced her to do it? The forest? Perhaps they used hypnotism or something? I don't know anything about that. Don't say it all proud. Uh, uh, um, putting that aside. It seems obvious that the killer did something. So, maybe we should figure out who was able to do whatever that was. So, an alibi. Then our plan is to destroy the weakest alibi. Ooh. Since Hajime has seen the video, it is clear what time the crime took place. Uh, but just to be sure, that surveillance camera doesn't have a record function, right? It's a cheap-ass surveillance camera, you know? There's no way it'd have some kind of sweet recording feature. Then, the video Hajime saw was actually live? What time did Hajime see that video? I saw it at the hospital, right before Monokuma's morning announcement. And I saw the body at the music venue a little after Monokuma's announcement. Hmm. So Ibuki hanged herself right before Monokuma's announcement. And since we established that Hyoko was killed before Ibuki, that means the time that the murders occurred was before and during the announcement. Then, we just have to find the person who doesn't have an alibi during that time? Mm. Now then, I shall issue my decree. Let Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi commence! It's about time you came together, girl, and used your regal authority. Here we go, okay, destroy the weakest alibi. Make your argument. Now, what have we got? Mikan's account, Fuyuhiko's account, Sonya's account, movie invitation section. I, I honestly don't know. Let's go for Fuyuhiko's account. We can exclude the sick people like me and Akane, right? Yep. And I what can... about the others? Right before the morning announcement, I was totally sleeping in my motel room. Okay. I think everyone at the motel was doing that. So everyone who stayed at the motel doesn't have an alibi. What about you guys? I was where I was supposed to be, my own cottage. That's true. Not an alibi. Well, he did say that. Aside from was afflicted by the disease. If nobody has an alibi, then Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has failed. Hmm, okay, let's see what they're saying. The murder supposedly happened before and during the morning announcement. The person who doesn't have an alibi for that time. If nobody has an alibi, then... Yes, 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 we do have an no, alibi. Mikan has an alibi because she was sleeping next to me. Filthy girl. She does have an alibi. Oh God. Not all of us are missing an alibi. In fact, Mikan and I both have alibis. Yeah. You, you two have alibis? Yeah, this is going to be awkward to explain though, Hajime. Until I saw that hanging video. Mikan and I were actually together for a while. We even woke up together that morning. Yikes! Hey, what kind of situation is that? <laughs> I accidentally fell asleep on top of Hajime. Not making it any better. Too much info. Exactly. Yeah, it's not like that. She just came to tell me Nagato's condition had improved. And we went to the hospital together afterward. So we were together until right before the announcement. I get it. You guys have alibis. If that's the case, the killer must be someone else. It's better if we think about it like that. The killer decided to falsify the murder sequence to hide the actual time of the crime anyway. So it's inevitable that an alibi for both before and during the morning announcement would be very important. Hmm. It feels like Operation Destroy the Weakest Alibi has backed us into a corner instead. But committing an imitation murder, is that really all it was? Huh? Faking the time the crime occurred by falsifying the murder sequence, hiding their alibi in the process. Was that the only reason the killer made both bodies imitate the movie? Are you saying there was another reason? I feel really bad for confusing you guys so much. But that's how I feel. I think the killer had a completely different reason for falsifying the murder sequence. Oh, really? The killer had a different reason? Hmm, if that's the case, are we still in the killer's trap? Inside a trap set by one of us? If so, then... Whose? What kind of trap is it? We've got to try and work that out. Oh, baby, this is getting tricky. Trial class suspended! We've not really worked out anything, have we? In, in the grand scheme of things, we've really not worked out anything. Damn that killer! 
Damn them to hell! Oh boy, that was absolutely fantastic. We're gonna end off this part one of the trial right here, ladies and gentlemen. The next part is gonna be on Saturday, so get those butts prepared for that. Let's shoot for 1,000 likes on this video, and I know Hyoka was killed first. Hyoka was killed first. We just don't know why at this point. I think, I think maybe they were only meant to kill one person and Hyoko was in the, the place where everything was going to be set up. Maybe the killer suggested to Ibuki that they should kill themselves and then Hyoko was there. She was going to get in the way so they decided to off her as well. Or maybe Hyoko was overheard the conversation um, telling Ibuki to go and rip herself and then they obviously had to shut Hyoko up somehow so she came more of collateral damage that's that's the kind of lead I'm going on just now this story is absolutely amazing I cannot wait for more I'm Ron Rasbowski you've been the beautiful raspberries as always for watching and I love each and every single one of you goodbye